Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream Sunday Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Sunday, 30th June, 2020, 24. 13th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our Savior Jesus Christ abolished death, and He has proclaimed life through the good news. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the okay. angels and saints and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we of adoption, chose us to be children of light, grant we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Kings. One day Elisha came to Shunem where there was a woman of influence who urged him to dine with her. Afterward, whenever he passed by, he used to stop there to dine. So she said to her husband, I know that Elisha is a holy man of God. 
since he visits us often, let us arrange a little room on the roof and furnish it for him with a bed, table, chair, and lamp, so that when he comes to us, he can stay there. Some time later, Elisha arrived and stayed in the room overnight. Later, Elisha asked, Can something be done for her? His servant Gehazi answered, Yes, she has no son, and her husband is getting on in years. Elisha said to her, or said, Call her. When the woman had been called and stood at the door, Elisha promised, This time next year, you will be fondling a baby son. The word of the Lord. from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, are you unaware that we who were baptized into Christ Jesus were also baptized into his death? We were indeed buried with him through baptism into death, so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live in newness of life. If then we have died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. We know that Christ, raised from the dead, dies no more. Death no longer has power over him. As to his death, he died to sin once and for all. As to his life, he lives for God. Consequently, you too must think of yourselves as dead to sin and living for God in Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord.
holy nation on us the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Whoever loves father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And whoever does not take up his cross and follow after me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Whoever receives you receives me. And whoever receives me, receives the one who sent me. Whoever receives a prophet because he is a prophet, will receive a prophet's reward. And whoever receives a righteous man, because he is a righteous man, will receive a righteous man's reward. And whoever gives only a cup of cold water to one of these little ones to drink, because the little one is a disciple, Amen, I say to you, he will surely not lose his reward. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today's gospel invites us to love God more than anybody or anything else in the world. If we don't love God, we will be so close to ourselves and we will not see any meaning in doing good. Love God demands, love of God demands sacrifice and self-giving. Our salvation is found in moving out of ourselves in service and reconciliation. Love God doesn't mean that we should not stop loving our family. We should place God in our heart. There should be a place for God in our hearts. That is what is most important. As true followers of Jesus, everything, our possession, dreams, family, our life, has to come under the Lordship of Christ. Amen. I believe in one God, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, for the brothers of our ages, God from God, to from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. 
and by the Holy Spirit who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord of her of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, to whom the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess the baptism. With the hearts united in prayer and hope, let us come before our loving Father with our needs. For the Church, that she may continue to summon us to turn to the Lord for newness of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our nation, as we prepare to celebrate Independence Day, that we may always be thankful for the gift of freedom and use it in the service of God and of life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For travelers and vacationers, that their journeys will be safe and their time away renewing, we pray to the Lord. For the ill, the lonely, and the grieving, that they may unite their sufferings to the cross of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family, that we strive to do our best to reflect the face of Christ to others, we pray to the Lord. For all of our faithful departed, for those needs found in our parish prayer book, and for our own needs and intentions we bring to this Mass, especially... For Jean Baltus, Ruthan Karnahan, Mary Odo Cochran, living and deceased, Hireland Abrogast family. We pray to the Lord. Hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, in your goodness and love, we ask that you hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Please join in singing the preparation hymn number 387, The Summons, number 387. Should your life attract 
pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the almighty father O oh God who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts through Christ our Lord Amen the Lord be with you and with your spirit Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours he humbled himself and was born of the virgin by the passion of the cross he freed us from unending death and by raising from the dead he gave us life eternal and so with angels and archangels with thrones and dominions and with all the hosts and powers of heaven we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim indeed holy o lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration so that they may become the body and the blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again Therefore O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we relay for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and glory are yours forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, the soul shall be healed. The body of Christ keep me safe from all. Communion hymn number 395. Here I am, Lord. Number 395. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all within me bless his holy name. Next hymn, number 332, Gift of Finest Wheat, number 332. i 
joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude that you should count us worthy Lord to share the Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. There will be no adoration on Tuesday, July 4th. No men's adoration, no donuts, and ask Father anything. The parish office is closed. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us. Give us a protection against the assaults of the devil. May God help you. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us. Give us a protection against the assaults of the devil. Lift high the cross.
cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video nếu thấy hay hãy nhấn like đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé